All right, welcome back to another one. It's been a month again, but today we're talking about the Mustang, specifically my experience owning a 2011 V6 Mustang for a year now. So I've owned this thing for over a year, about like a year and a month now. Time has flown. I am shocked that I've already had it for a year. It does not feel like that long, um, but I wrote a list of stuff that's kind of gone wrong with it and mods that I've done. And I would love to film this video while driving because I just think it looks a little bit cooler having a moving background because of stuff I've done in the car. It's too loud and you wouldn't be able to hear me. And that also means that I can't have the car running. So it's really hot in here. So I'm probably gonna have a really red face, but. So that being said, I'm gonna start with stuff that's gone wrong. Then I'm gonna talk about the mods that I've done. And then I'm gonna talk about my general opinion and what I think about this car after owning it for a year. I wanna preface this by saying this is my first car. Um, I got my driver's license where I can drive alone about four, maybe five months ago. Um, so that's how long I've been driving by myself. And I have just learned to drive in the last year. I, of course, am getting better. And luckily I haven't hit anybody yet, so. That's a plus. So when I got the car about a year ago, um, it had 112, about 112,000 miles on it. But the last person who had it, they really did take care of it. They didn't do any oil changes. I don't think like the whole lifespan had really worn um, tires on it. It needed new brake pads and everything. So um, went through, put new spark plugs in it. It desperately needed it. Me and my dad replaced two brake calipers. Um, one, when we first got it, it was shot, it actually was like rusted and wasn't working which was great and then we replaced the second brake caliper just a couple of months ago because it seized up and one of the gaskets was blown it was going to be too expensive to just source the gasket so just bought a new caliper and threw it on and then also when i got it we put um, all new brake pads all the way around and those are still doing great also another thing when i got it i drove for a couple days and then a airbag light popped up which was not great it wasn't clear if i had an airbag in the car which for you know first car i kind of suck at driving so i probably need an airbag so we took it to the ford dealership and um they fixed that i don't know exactly what was wrong with it but it did have an airbag light um and a ford dealership was able to fix that i just got interrupted by an amazon mail guy so i was okay so next up i'm gonna talk about the rust if you look online you'll see a lot of stuff about rustangs mustangs that are rusty and uh, that's because rustang is a real thing <laughs> so um when i got this it looked pretty good just because it's low you can't really tell too much um, we got underneath it it was pretty rusty underneath so um, we got this special kind of rust um, it's called osfo rust retardant we scraped the whole bottom of the car covered it in this stuff that like eats rust and turns it to like a black um, and then we just spray painted it over it it wasn't too too bad um, but we did do that because Mustangs are rusty and it was a little bit rusty underneath. So that's basically everything that has gone wrong on it. Um, now the Mustang is 116,000 miles on it. So I've only put about 4,000 miles on it in total. So I have not driven that much, but um, I'm definitely going to put another probably 8,000 miles on it in the next year because I'll be driving a lot more. But in those four, kind of four and a half thousand miles, it's held up really well um, considering it was a little bit neglected for a while. That's all we had to do to it, um, which is pretty dang good. So now let's talk about mods I've done to it. That's the fun stuff. Who cares about fixing stuff? That's not fun. Well, it's kind of fun, but I put a new axle back um, exhaust on it. I believe it is a Magnaflow exhaust. I got it from a guy who took it off his Mustang. It wasn't loud enough for him, so I threw it on my Mustang. Um, I got it for like really, really cheap. He was a really cool guy. Because of that, the Mustang is really, really loud, but uh, I really do like it and it's a lot of fun. My dad hates it, but kind of makes it more fun. Um, next up, put new wheels and tires on this. Um, it still had the stock Mustang wheels and tires, which didn't look horrible, but the rims were 16s and uh, it just, it didn't fit. So we put 18s on it from a 2020 GT Premium Mustang. So you don't see a lot on an old 2011 Mustang. Looks really good. I really do like it. And of course that came with um, new tires on it. Pretty new. They only had like, I think like 10,000 miles on them, which is not too bad at all, especially a lot better than the pretty warm worn down tread that the original tires had on them. And then with the new wheels and tires, I realized that it had a little bit of that stock rake um, pointing down at the nose, so we leveled it. So it's a little, it's sticking up a little bit in the back still, but 
um, it's it's pretty level and it really made it look a lot better other than that really haven't done too much with it um, I'd made a whole video on taking the seats out of this thing and uh, there was a little bit of rust on the seat bracket so we wire brushed those down and spray painted them those are holding up pretty well the um, rust has kind of come back through a little bit but it's not too bad the interior in this thing is doing really great also wrap the center console in the shifter knob I uh, made two videos on that. You can go watch those if you want. Um, and that is holding up pretty well considering all the curves in the center console. Um, it's coming up a little bit, but still looks pretty good. Um, audio system in it works great still. Um, no real complaints. This thing still runs really well and is extremely loud, but a lot of fun. Now, there's a couple things that I still would like to do with it because I plan on keeping this car for at least another year. So um, I'd love to put new cold air intake on it just because I feel like this is kind of one of the go-to things when you want to do stuff to a 2011 Mustang. Just mainly for me, not for like the slight like 10 horsepower gain, but mainly for the exhaust sound. From what I've seen, it makes a little bit of a difference, but the biggest difference when you put a cold air intake on a Mustang is when you also tune it. Tuning the Mustang is something that I'm a little bit sketched out by. Um, a lot of people have told me that it's really fine and it's super awesome. It just kind of scares me because this thing works so well, but eventually down the line, I would absolutely love to put a tune on it. I don't know what brand I would go with um, to get a tuner and get a tune through, but those are the two things that I'm really thinking about doing with the Mustang and I probably will end up doing in the next year or so. But after owning this 2011 Mustang for a year, my thoughts on it still are this is a completely amazing car. Um, for the price range of these things, you just, you can't beat it. The interior, especially if you get a premium, the interior is just, it's really nice. Um, it's not like the newest, most fanciest modern thing in the world, but it looks really good and I really do love it. And after a year, I would totally recommend getting one of these, not just as your first car, but if you just need a cool car um, that you wanna do some fun stuff to, this thing is awesome. And it really seems like it can take a beating, but I will make a video in another year or when I get rid of this thing, talking about all the new stuff I've done to it. And again, how it's holding up. But as it is right now, this thing is absolutely awesome and uh, I love this car. So hopefully you all found this video helpful. And if you have any questions on anything to do with the 2011 Mustang, hit me up in the comments down below. I will get right back to you and uh, I will see you all pretty soon. Peace out.